It would have been a pretty nice profit. The sold comps on it were pretty darn good. It's a brand new blade to replace on that system, but. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. Welcome to the Commonwealth Cabin. Me and Turner are here today. He's hiding behind that chair over there, so you might see him here in a few minutes. He's been helping me do a few things. He's been a pretty good helper restocking the CommonwealthPicker.com store shelves because Reagan and Blue Ridge Mama are gone. So I had an item removed, and I'm sure if you've been selling a while, that's happened to you once or twice before. But, you know, the more and more time goes by, you start to learn the things that are going to get taken down, and you just don't list them. That one surprised me a little bit, even though I had a feeling, actually I knew that there were certain blades that had been recalled. I'm going to show you what that is in just a second, and this one probably shouldn't be recalled, and I'll tell you why, but I'm not going to fight it. It's not that big of a deal. It's not an expensive item, so I'm probably not going to relist it in any way, shape, or form, although I might go over to Mercari and check it out. But we did sell a few cool things today, and we also had the Supreme, the Green Supreme, sweatshirt sell on auction and we're going to ship that out i'll tell you how much that's sold for let's take a look first item going off to a viewer this one is going off to debbie and that means it's going to jeffrey who watches a lot of movies and dvds and cds and all that so this one right here cd carrying case you know when you see these i usually pick them up if they're new i usually pick them up if the price is right they're not huge sellers and sometimes they're long tail but you'd be surprised with some of these cases how much money they can go for because you just simply can't buy them very many places anymore this one went for 12 dollars plus shipping now i remember where i picked it up and i remember at that sale i was talking to the camera like i often do and i remember picking up this item and then a couple other ones they were cd holders but they were the hard ones with the soft case around it and i'm like you know this is going to sell for okay money people will wonder why i pick it up and the other one's going to sell for even better money and you know i probably i'm down into this for maybe 50 cents so 12 dollars plus shipping is pretty easy because this one's light haven't had any uh, boomerang items this year. I have had a couple that have been returned that there was nothing wrong with that I ended up selling, but it never came back twice. So cross my fingers, you know, knock on wood. Tell me your boomerang stories, by the way. Have you had an item that you've sold more than one time, or excuse me, more than two times? So you've sold it, it came back, you sold it again, it came back again. <laughs> Tell me your boomerang stories if you got any out there. Here's an interesting boomer. You probably remember me selling this before. I picked this up at a sale with my wife. I can't remember the name of it. I'll have to, maybe if I can remember, I'll put it up here. But if I can't, I can't. Anyway, it's a corduroy vintage camel hat. Smooth character. And I paid up for it. I, you know, I like to pay a buck for a hat. I think I ended up paying three. He was asking five. I paid three. Sold for 18 plus shipping. And I shipped it off. I think to Arizona is where it was going. And it just magically returned one day. And address not found or nobody at the address or something like that. I can't remember what exactly it said on the box. And so I took it back and I looked at the travels of it and, and definitely nobody ever picked it up. It was at a parcel locker, you know, somebody had some kind of a maybe apartment or something and it was in there and nobody ever picked it up. So I sent a message to the buyer, no response. Sent another message to the buyer, no response. I'm like, well, I guess that's the end of the road for this one. And we just ended up relisting the thing and sold again $18 plus shipping. This was in our giant record buy, which I still haven't aired. There's, I'm running out of videos, but we're not quite done yet. 100 mile yard sale, we bought tons and tons and tons of records. And some of them are pretty cool, you know, interesting ones. Not very many of them are in very good shape here, but this one gone with the wind. Right, this one sold for $9.50 plus shipping. Not a huge money maker, but we're into these things for maybe a quarter a piece. All right, here's the blade story. So this one right here, let me open it and show it to you real quick. Food processor blade. You'd think this is a win in doubt part or out item, right? But this blade was recalled. And it's from the Cuisinart system there. DLC 8, I think is what it is. And so there's a recall on it, but there's plenty listed. So don't ever get fooled by that. And there was plenty sold. Not as many sold as there was listed, but still had a couple of solds in there. But here's the deal. And I don't know where the paperwork went for the whole thing. Maybe I threw that thing out. I think I did. This was the replacement blade to take the place of the part that was recalled. <laughs> so this is the fixed blade right here. 
apparently. So even the one that's fixed is going to be recalled, or not recalled, but it's going to be uh, taken off of eBay. So whatever, it's, it's not a big deal. This one actually came to me for free. It would have been a pretty nice profit. The sold comps on it were pretty darn good. It's a brand new blade to replace on that system. But hey, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Sometimes it rains. <laughs> what are you doing, Sophie? What are you doing? What are you doing, girl? 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 <laughs> oh, look at you. <laughs> One more. Oh, Turner had to run in and get his switch right there. You like playing that switch? <laughs> Play that switch a little too much. Hey, we got a sale here. We had a auction sale from the, the Lost and Found sale, the one that we have all the golf club head covers from that we've made pretty good money on so far, the golf course finds. And we were surprised to find a green Supreme crew neck sweatshirt in there. And this one turned out to be the real deal as opposed to the fake one we picked up down there in South Carolina. And I decided to put it on auction. If I didn't put this one on auction, I would have probably listed it for maybe $199.95 or best offer and taken something around $150. I was hoping for $125 in an auction and we got a little bit less than that. I think I might have even videoed that when it was going on and we'll put that in there. I decided to do an auction because I had like five or six viewers ask me about it and I'm like, ah, I feel bad giving it to one and not the other i'm like just whatever it's no big deal it's all pure profit at this point and i don't think a viewer got it so let's take a look at it all right here it is been hanging right here for a while and it sold pretty good pretty good condition the reason i was hoping for 125 and you would think that these would go for probably a little bit more it's because of a little fading on the back i mean you probably won't be able to tell it here well, you definitely won't with that light that I have. Maybe I can turn it off. Let's see here. And you still can't... Re well, maybe you can see a little bit. i got too many shadows in here. But right down through here, it's faded. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but right here, it's a little darker than right here. So I have this fading going on, and I took some pictures where the buyer could... or whoever was going to bid on it could see it fairly easily. And so you can see it and you can see it a little bit better right there there's a line that goes through there so it's a little faded so clearly it was sitting out in the sun for a while somewhere maybe in the back of somebody's truck or something you know in a car and so it has that fading and a couple issues and i'm like you know well, i don't want somebody to pay 200 bucks and then get it and, and say you know i hate this thing it went a good deal so somebody got a good deal i suppose as far as good deals go for 110 dollars used sweatshirts and I'm happy because this is uh, after fees and shipping and whatnot. Although it's it was 110 plus shipping, I'm making pretty good money on it. It's pure profit at this point. That brings us to starting at 150, 494 dollars. That's after fees, after shipping costs. So our profit here is roughly I don't know, do some math, 350 bucks. We still have a few things left over here in both of these bins that still have to sell, and I think one more piece of clothing. So pretty safe to say it's going to be a $400 profit on this when it's all said and done. Maybe just a little bit more. All right, we have one more, but it's behind Turner. Hey, by the way, this is all the stuff that we shipped out yesterday, and it was uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so it it's waiting. till. How long did it take? Well, you helped me with one of them, didn't you? Uh, maybe you didn't. Reagan was in here helping me. But I got to get behind that chair right there, the blue chair. The famous blue free chair. I couldn't believe it, by the way. If you haven't been around the channel very long, I'm building this thing in here. And I come across this chair at a private pick. And I'm looking at it. I'm trying to pick it up. It weighs like 800 pounds. And they're like, it's free. Take it. And I'm like, oh boy. And I absolutely love it. It's a great chair. It even leans back. All right. Here we go. Assassin's Creed. This one went to a viewer, I believe. Let me read that to you. Is it uh, Claudette? Now it says, hello, Kevin, my wife, Claudette, and I watch you all the time, but I don't think I ever saw your name in here and have bought from you in the past as well. Thanks for putting the chickens at the end of the video for my son. He loves the animals. We started reselling again a year and a half ago and we enjoy the shows. BarnasBasementTreasures.com Dot com. So this isn't an eBay store here. B-A-R-N-A-S BasementTreasures.com. I've checked that out. Thank you. I appreciate it. These sold for $12.95 plus shipping. And they came from that giant $100 buy. 
that we just absolutely crushed it on not too long ago. I'll put that up here if I can remember. All right, me and Turner been in here talking about what just sold. <laughs> what are those two things? A uh, regular ER and an old ER. And I'm like, I've never seen an old ER. It looks cool. Yeah, he said, that's an old school ER? <laughs> that's what it gunned is the brand name right there. Did you like Winnie the Pooh? You like Winnie the Pooh? It's pretty cool. I like Eeyore. He's one of my favorites, I think. He says, Oh bother, bother. Oh bother. That's right. That's bother. right. There's a lot of Eeyores out there in the world, isn't there? A lot of them comment on my videos. <laughs> All right, Darren. Thank you. That's very nice. And this this went to Alan. Can you say thank you to Alan? Thank you, Alan. And he's our buddy over there at the Gambit store, and he comments all the time. So thank you, Alan. We appreciate it. And he only wanted one of the two Beanie Babies. And this from a sale that I went to with your mama the other day, and she found some stuff. And we got it on a pretty good little video on Commonwealth Picker. So $17. We cut him a deal on it because he only wanted one. And we're doing them together here. So I have to check out the, the shipping there. $17 plus shipping. Definitely enough for Turner to do what? Save a dollar, spend a dollar, and donate a dollar. All right. Thank you, Alan. Bye. All right. Every once in a while, you do a Mary Kay buy, and there's something that just doesn't sell. She lotted a lot of these things up together. What is this? Uh, eye color. And because some of them just aren't worth selling by themselves. But she separated some and some that didn't go together. And so she listed this one. This is from the first lot we bought. Boy, it's been over a year at this point. And so she was listing some of these for like $7.99. Well... 25% off clearance. I can't remember exactly what, but uh, under $6 for this sale right here. And I don't remember exactly what the number is. So we're making a little bit of money on it, but not too much. But I'm glad it's gone. It did get caught up in that sale. People ask how I ship those sometimes. I simply just put one little piece of bubble on it and then put it in one of these, except for I put it in the small one. This one's way too big. There's a smaller one that I use. All right, this one's been sitting back there for a while. I've kind of neglected this space right here. I used to put cool different things up up here, but we don't come in here too often anyways. I'll have to find some cool stuff to put there and maybe replace a couple of these. I thought this would sell at Christmas, but it is has a broken piece right there. So here you go. Here's the message. This is a viewer. So three viewer sales today. Thank you. I uh, just noticed this hat in tonight's episode. The NTPA is huge in my area. The National Tractor Pullers Association. I don't mean to laugh. It's just a, it's a, it's an, it's like a uniquely American sport right there, right? Pretty cool. So, and I remember watching it when I was a kid. I was just intrigued by it. But here we go. This one went to Dan. He says, thanks again. And he says, we can't wait for the tractor pull season to start again. Dan, let me know in the comments. Tell me when the tractor pull season starts. What's tractor pulling season? Is it uh, springtime? Is that when you do tractor pulling? I would think maybe I don't know. You'd think maybe their their uh, planting is done. I don't know. You tell me. Let me know, Dan. Dan, thank you. I appreciate. it. By the way, this is a cool hat. I'm surprised it's hung around as long as it has. It was fifteen seventy five. I think free shipping. And that thing's pretty cool. Nice patch. It's in great shape. There's the tag right there. Made in Taiwan. It's a tag to look for for sure. I like that one. It's not the, uh, the Louisville Manufacturing Company, but it's a nice hat. This thing looks like it's never been worn. I think you're going to like that one. Bonanza sale. <laughs> Little tiny magnetic backgammon replacement pieces. $5.99. If you're new to the show, don't ask. Don't ask. All right. And Anna Man, CommonwealthPicker.com store. I've been putting one out a day the last few days. So you never know. You might be a lucky one. We're down to like uh, that. I bought a new box. Well, new. I, I suppose it's new. I, I found a contact, or they found me, I should say. And I was able to get one more box. So we definitely still have these few in here. But this was an awesome one. I was so happy to grab that box. And we are eating into that one right now. Maybe 35 or so. 40 maybe left. Because I had to open it the other day. This one's going out to Gary. So Gary, thank you so much. And he's headed your way. And we hope he gets things moving for you. Alright, well thanks again for joining us here in the eBay cave and out there in the Commonwealth cabin. I'm sure we'll go back out there for something like we always do and we appreciate you and we can't wait to see you next time. Alright, Reagan, you sold a couple of mugs out of the CommonwealthPicker.com store. What did you sell? Two in a mugs. Two in a mugs. And you remember who they went to? Travis and Van. Van. Oh, that's right. Van. And both y'all said really nice things. Thank you, Van. And Van talked to you a little bit. We were going to read it, but we decided to do it quick over here. 
and he wants you to sign that thing before he ships it off. He wanted to get one before they're all gone. And I actually had a roommate in college that had the exact same first and last name as you, Van. Actually, it was Valentine, but we called him Van. So, from Chicago, I think. So, at any rate, thank you all. We appreciate it. And... Bye, and don't forget to get your stickers at CommonwealthPicker.com.